Well, the personnel committee is scheduled to meet on Monday, but they said something about meeting tomorrow, which will be Thursday. So I really don't know, but we'll just be ready to meet with them whenever they do meet. Realistic, Mrs. Howard, do you suppose that the salary increases and the benefits that you're looking for really will come about by the time this budget is announced? Well, we certainly hope that they'll be able to incorporate some of them because we were promised last year that this next year every teacher would be placed on the correct salary step, and we just don't see how Dr. Estes or the board can back off from this commitment. Well, I think uh, that there was no way of actually knowing the total amount of money that might be needed to accomplish the goal. We were certainly in sympathy with the needs. We have felt that we had an organized group within the conference that had already started doing many of the things that uh, needed to be done and had been brought to our attention. And we felt that this group, a responsible group of our committee, could, uh, com of our uh, conference, could work with this group in a very creative way in the realization of these goals. first building, Judy, uh, is an office building, and we have designed a, a rather large building, at over 200,000 square feet, a uh, nine-story building, and one that we will have completed in early 1972. We expect to be the first uh, new downtown office building ready for occupancy and occupied. Is there that much demand for office space in Dallas? Yes, in downtown Dallas, there's still a, a shortage of office space. And uh, we're trying to respond to that shortage right now as quickly as we can. We're doing everything we possibly can to make sure that equal opportunity, true equal employment opportunity, is made available to minority groups. And in minority groups, we include many groups, the uh, Spanish-speaking, uh, people of Spanish-speaking backgrounds, the uh, blacks, the women, uh, various economic, uh, the underprivileged uh, whites. We're making sure that opportunities and knowledge of opportunities exist that the testing instruments we use are relevant to their experience and test true potential rather than uh, some artificial uh, job requirements. We're seeing to it that we restructure our jobs to provide channels for upward mobility 
for persons who perhaps have been disadvantaged in the past and not uh, equipping themselves fully or being able to equip themselves fully to prepare for full employment. Well, my personal opinion on this particular subject is this is not necessary. There's no need of a sign saying no discrimination. We understand this. And uh, this, uh, to my estimation, would cause uh, actually a feeling of, uh, should we say, with the people who are thought of as a discriminate, discriminating person, uh, it would not really look very well. So my personal opinion is that we should not have that type of a sign. Are you saying that it's your experience that perhaps uh, a person might even be offended by seeing such a sign? Yes, I really do. I feel that way about it personally. The order also goes along with the 1968 Fair Housing ruling in saying, of course, that people must not be discriminated against, that uh, if a particular unit for rent is available, it must be shown to anybody who seeks to perhaps rent it. Uh, do you find that that's a fair rule? Has there been any particular problem as a result of it? Actually, uh, we, don't, we do not have this problem uh, in the state that I come from, which is California. Uh, we show property if it is available, and the person who is seeking the property, the client as we may call them, uh, is interested and the property is available, why, and there is an agreement in the contract, why, that's it. I feel that these 19 proposals, as they were, as the committee took them, that if we look into the heart, this is the thing, rather than the money sense, because you cannot set up a program just by gearing it on money. But the fact of having the hearts willing means that the money that needs to be given toward it, people will generously give this money.
It is the decisive reason, yes. Uh, we had had one previous work stoppage because of Texas, Union, uh, Texas Electric Service Company personnel working on the uh, project. Uh, the days lost then and days lost to weather have not helped us, but uh, certainly uh, the uh, final blow was this uh, latest walkout and the fact that the paving contractor will now be leaving the site uh, is of no comfort because the other contractors have to perform certain duties. The paving contractor must then come back and uh, it is indicated that again the various trade unions will uh, stop their work at that time. So the future work stoppages uh, combined with this present uh, work interruption uh, have uh, decided the issue. Now, what about the possibility of a, of a general strike, letting all the contracts expire and then everyone strike at once? This would be the only legal way to let all contracts expire. The last one would expire July the 28th. Then a nationwide strike would be possible. Would you favor this path if there is no agreement reached? Wholeheartedly, yes. What would be the purpose of it? To gain what we feel like would be a reasonable wage increase plus benefits, and we would all be together in a common cause. Rather than each company against each union? Yes. There are 34 contracts that have expired at this time. What are the principal items that the negotiations are hung up with? Principally wages. We feel like that we signed a three-year contract in 1968. In this contract, we fell way behind the rise of the economy, some $24 or $25 a week behind. Another is the pensions. The pension plan as it now stands draws more in interest than they pay out in pensions. The people that have retired from the company are not able to live anywhere adequately on what they receive. I think it's a good dial of something that doesn't have a suburban community in downtown Dallas, the, the best of both worlds. We are planning for the 21st century view, and because we have such a large tract of land, which is unique in uh, downtown development, uh, we are able to plan for a separation of pedestrian and, and automobiles and, and trucks, uh, provide open spaces, provide uh, a living environment uh, that uh, will enhance our, our downtown Dallas and give it some beauty and uh, a place that people will want to be, a people place. School board members are being asked again tonight to approve a Human Relations Resources Commission. The committee supposedly would be appointed by School Superintendent Julius Trulson. The committee itself would be composed of leaders from the various ethnic groups around the city. The members would act as advisors to the administration concerning problems such as needs, wants, and developing situations in their various areas and groups. On another issue, teachers who are already being evaluated by the students may get a chance to express their opinions about their bosses, the school principals. Board members will take a look tonight at a form proposed to be used if the teachers get the evaluation plan. The meeting is scheduled to start tonight at 7.30 in the school administration building. This is Jerry Park, Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth. I believe what you're talking about is the uh, Manpower Act that the uh, Senate uh, 
uh, enact, uh, passed uh, just recently uh, in terms of public service uh, jobs. These, of course, are a matter of national policy as to whether uh, the government will establish uh, the means uh, whereby the underprivileged can be trained and uh, uh, put to work. And I believe, uh, without getting into the uh, political situation as between the administration and the Congress, that uh, the uh, president's proposal, the executive branch proposal, is different from that passed by the Senate. And obviously, uh, we will carry out whatever act is finally passed by the uh, Senate and approved by the President and the Congress.